Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today's Monday. I went to Krispy Kreme because today they're giving out a free dozen donuts to the first 500 customers that show up. So my sister told me about it and I went right after Kingston's gymnastics class, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But yeah, so I got my box. Like I will show you a clip right now. Good morning guys. I just stopped by at Krispy Kreme because today uh, they're giving out their free dozen donuts for the first 500 customers and I got it. Now we are back home and I'm making some breakfast. It's more like lunch at this point because it's already 12. So I'm making some scrambled eggs and I'm going to make them with some spinach and some cherry tomatoes so I can get some veggies in. This is what we're working with right now. And I'm just gonna add two eggs in here. Make a quick little breakfast. Let's mix it all together. It's kind of dark, but I put you up in my cabinet. Um, going back to Kingston, he's, I signed him up for like this little gymnastics class kind of thing because I was searching on Google like sports or different activities that kids can do for his age and there's nothing there's nothing they can do they can't play sports obviously because they don't listen to direction and they're kind of like all over the place so the thing that came up was the little gym and basically what the little gym is is they have it's like a little gymnastics class but for kids kingston's age which is the 19th to 36 month toddlers they have like things to work on balance and jumping and things like that to kind of develop their motor skills a little bit better and work on them he also gets to play around with the kids and interact with other kids his age so i really like it he really likes it it's just a good time the instructor is really nice we really like her she does really good with the kids and kingston has warmed up to her so he will actually do the skill of, of the week with her without like crying or anything because he can be a little social separation anxiety or whatever but he's doing really good with her he just kind of keeps an eye on me and like i give him like oh it's okay you can go and then he'll just go do it but yeah i like that he gets to interact with other kids his age and i mean it's not like they work on like flips and stuff right now and like this friday they're having a little friendsgiving festival which we are going to attend and it's free for members, so that's awesome. And they just have different things like that as well. So we really like it. I'm going to have my breakfast, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I totally forgot to show you guys what book I'm reading. This is the one I'm reading, The Spanish Love Deception. And it's been taking me forever to finish it. Oh my gosh, I just can't finish it. It's not that it's bad. I don't know, I just can't sit down and read it. So right now, I'm going to attempt to get some reading done. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. It's, it's actually pretty good so far. All right, guys, it is a couple of hours later. And I'm gonna start prepping for dinner. It's not even three o'clock, but I want the chicken to marinate for about an hour. And I'm trying to make a lemon pepper, just baked chicken. Because if you guys saw in my last vlog, I bought like a whole chicken instead of like it already being cut into each piece. So I have some of the chicken left over because I only used the breast for the chicken dumplings that I made on Saturday. And I'm just gonna bake it and we're gonna have some veggies. This is gonna be like baked chicken with veggies. Here's a chicken that I'm going to bake. So I, when I cut it up, I just cut the thigh and the leg as one. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then here are the wings. I'm gonna leave the wings. I might cut the wings because I need to cut like this and take the little feathers off. But this is of the piece. It's like the spine. I don't know what this piece is, but I don't know what to do with it. I may just make some broth out of it. I don't know. Or add it to like a caldo de pollo for more flavor. We'll see. These are the seasonings that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a little bit of oil. Um, the small amount of onion powder that I have left. Black pepper. And then I've been using this garlic and herb. It's really good. Salt free. Lemon pepper and paprika and a little bit of salt that i'm gonna use but that's it and then i'm gonna let it marinate for a little while and yeah all right y'all i just took out the chicken from the oven and this is what it's looking like 
I wanted it I wanted it a little bit more crispy but then I didn't want to overcook it so I'm just gonna see it's good and then over here I'm making some rice I'll sh I can't open it yet because I just now turned it down to a simmer and I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 minutes and then I'll check so that's what we're gonna have for dinner and I'll show you when it's plated and everything the rice came out perfect here's my plate y'all i'm gonna add some salad and i'm gonna add some of this avocado ranch i've showed this before i really like it it's low calorie and it's actually good it's not as good as ranch but it'll do that's what it looks like and here's kingston he's having some strawberries on the side with his food buenos dias guys happy tuesday i just got home from the gym probably an hour ago so i've been here a little while um but i am about to have some coffee this is just black coffee the thing that I am going to attempt is I'm going to attempt to do intermittent fasting. So black coffee is one of the few things you can have along with, I think, unsweetened tea and water. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have some black coffee. My time frames are going to be from 11 to 7. So within that time frame, I will be eating my meals. But I'm going to attempt it. I've ha I have attempted it in the past and I just didn't really stick to it i wasn't really like dedicated so this time i'm really gonna try really hard i even got myself a little calendar i wrote there like fasting day one fast day two fast day three and then i will check them off as i go sorry it's gonna like be a glare but i got this calendar and it's like just magnetic and it comes with the eraser and six markers i got it on amazon and I really like it because it's not like overwhelming. It's kind of sleek, you know? And I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. But I, yeah, I just been doing like fast day one, fast day two, fast day three, and then I'll just check them off. So today is Tuesday, November 14th. I did go to the gym this morning and today is fasting day two. So once I have completed that, I will check it off. But I think that's really gonna help me to keep myself accountable. Hi guys, so it is now 11 and I'm gonna start making my breakfast. So it's time to break our fast. I am making that same um, egg scramble thing with spinach and cherry tomatoes. I really liked it, so I'm gonna make that again. And then I'm also going to make a strawberry and banana smoothie and then right there, and then I have my coffee right there. But yeah, I already took a sip of my coffee with my pumpkin spice creamer that I still have in the fridge. I want to get the um, peppermint mocha one. So as soon as I finish with this, I'm going to get that one and see how it is. I've never tried it, but I follow um, a YouTuber on here that loves it. So I'm going to try it out and see how it is. We actually went to the library today because I needed to renew my library book. Like I told you guys, I cannot finish reading it. I don't know what it is. It, like I said, it's not a bad book, so I just had to renew it. And then we did try to go to the little arts and crafts class, but Kingston, he's too little for it. It's for preschool age, so we just stuck around for a little bit for the beginning of like the story time, and then we left because he was not sta staying still, and I didn't want to disrupt the whole class well i don't think we have anything that we need to get done today so it's just gonna be a pretty chill day i might go visit my sister i don't know yet we'll see but yeah that's pretty much what we are we got going on right now here's my breakfast guys it looks so good and it is so good i have two pieces of toast and then i have my smoothie and my coffee and then kingston over here he's having well he had some turkey there strawberries and two french toast sticks Last time I gave him the French toast sticks, I kind of cut it up and he was not having it. So I try, I'm trying to do the whole stick, see if he eats it. But it looks like he wants more turkey. Get his mask, jamon. See? Hi guys, happy Wednesday. It's, yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm heading over to Aldi this morning. I'm gonna go see if I can find the ham for our Friendsgiving. And I need to pick up some milk for Kingston as well. So hopefully they have it there. If not, I'm gonna have to go look somewhere else to see if they have some. But I don't wanna be making too many stops. Let me put on some of this lotion. I buy this Dove hand cream at Dollar Tree and I keep it in my bag or in my car because my hands get so dry and they get like cracked and it's gross. And I forgot my ring, I just noticed that. Yeah. 
but oh my gosh guys it's been kind of a hard morning with kingston because he has been like just crying and it's not like whining he's just been crying and crying for every like small little thing and i don't know if he's like maybe teething so his teeth hurt i don't want to just give him some child's ibuprofen if i don't know he's actually in pain or not because usually i can tell when he's in pain by the way he cries and if he's teething he'll stick his fingers in his mouth but he hasn't really been doing that as often as he normally does so i don't think he's in pain but we will see we'll see how he reacts or how he is later on today also he was like this last night and he would not go to sleep so i just ended up going to sleep with him at like 8 30 or 9. so he did sleep pretty good last night he slept like i think 10 or 11 hours good and he loves coco he's in coco he wants to watch coco but um other than that last night i didn't do anything oh my i just kind of cleaned up around the house and yeah that's pretty much it so we made it to aldi and there's a lot of people here so i don't know if i'm going to be able to film inside but i will try so let's go in and see if we find it okay as, as you guys can see i did find it. we are back from aldi i actually already had breakfast and everything it's already 12. also such a weird thing my lights went out and then they came right back on and uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Ew. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's because we have like the solar panel or something malfunctioned. I don't know, but they came back on. Ahorita. I'm gonna show you what I got from Aldi. I ended up spending around 70, no. I ended up spending $64.24 before tax. And I'm gonna show you what I got real quick. This is everything I got. I thought I was just going to get the milk and the ham, so I didn't take my normal bags. So I had to use one of their boxes, which people do this all the time. It's normal. So let's see. Here's my receipt so I can show you guys. Uh, let's see. $64.24 before tax. I got this one this time. I normally get the Midnight Blend, I think it's called. And I got the Blonde Rose because I wanted something a little bit lighter. I'm not really into that dark roast at the moment so we're gonna try that one i saw this white peppermint or white chocolate peppermint bark i tried it it's not as good as i thought it was gonna be el pescado yeah wow que bonito ve a buscar otro Corre. and then i got this thing for it's supposed to be for a turkey but i'm gonna do my ham in here and I got some yogurt because Kingston likes to have yogurt in the morning and we ran out and I'm not going to go grocery shopping until Friday. Today's Wednesday. And I ran out of this so I wanted some avocado dressing for my salad for dinner today. And I went ahead and got some more stuff that I was going to need for the Friendsgiving. So I got some whipped topping to go with the apple pies that I'm going to make. I got some thyme. For tonight, we're having steak and potatoes with Brussels sprouts. So I got that. I got a little tote of honey crisp apples. These are the kind that I used last time I made the apple pie and they came out really good. I got two of their pie crust. Each one comes with two, so I am hoping to make two pies. We'll see. Hold on. Kingston is... Having a little meltdown. ¿Qué pasó? Oh, his truck is stuck under here. And then I got some garlic. I'm out of garlic and I need it for dinner tonight. Some Brussels sprouts. They were on sale, so I got them. I love these mini bite potatoes. They're easy to make and they're really good. I haven't tried this ribeye steak before, but I thought it was a good price for the amount that you get the milk that I was originally going in for. And then I did end up finding some ham. This is the spiral sliced hickory smoked honey ham. I don't even know what the difference between this one and the other one was, but I went with this one. 
and this one was uh 16.44 which is a good oh god hold on can't do it with that wrist or that hand it was a good prize for how big it is yeah we got that it looks smaller on camera than it is in person but yeah we got that and that is all that i got today it's, it's almost 5 p.m okay i lied it's only 4 15 but the sun is already setting and i don't think i've showed you guys my christmas tree yet so this is my christmas tree we got it at walmart i think last year pretty sure it was walmart so i'm gonna turn it on so you can see how pretty it is and here it is there's our tree all lit up we don't have a tree topper yet but there's kingston he woke up from his nap a while ago and he did not like his dinner but like you know I gave him sweet potatoes again to try. He was not a fan and he had some meatball soup and some a cutie, but he was not a fan of his dinner today. Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, I just realized I don't have my glasses on. Anyway, <laughs> happy Thursday. I'm heading to the gym this morning. I actually was so close not to getting up. It was so hard getting up this morning. I was really tired because I went to sleep kind of late. But here we are. We're ready to go. I talked myself up to it. So yeah. We're heading over to the gym. I think today is going to be leg day. Because last time on Tuesday. It was full body day. Because I haven't done a full body day in a while. I started going back to the gym. Two weeks ago I think. Is it two weeks ago? I think this will be this will be week two of me going back to the gym and I'm still trying to get into things and trying to get back into it like how I was so we'll see how today goes it's a few hours later it's actually about to be 11 so I'm gonna start making my breakfast but I wanted to show you guys how I put up my garland above my cabinets and it looks so cute I think it actually ties the living room and the kitchen together because I didn't have any lights in here and then as you know there's lights in the living room so i think it's it kind of ties it all together but yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe please like the video liking and commenting on the video really helps me so and it's free guys Just, all you gotta do is click the little thumbs up and you're good two seconds of your time but yeah i will see you guys in the next one